Well, with the temperatures we've been enjoying, it certainly feels a lot like summer these days outside, and it is time to think about enjoying the great outdoors, uh, maybe a little bit of fishing. We have the Baron of Burbot, the Wizard of Walleye, the Prince of Pickerel himself, Jason Maddity, joining us this morning, uh, talking about the shallow fish today, my friend. Good morning to you. Absolutely. Good morning, Chris. And uh, the cool thing about uh, this bite, if you will, is that it's very accessible to shore anglers. You can still get them from the boat as well, but it's a really good time of the year to get out and just enjoy the outdoors, of course, because now the water's warm and the fish are accessible. Very narrow window of time for people to enjoy shallow fishing. Why is that? Yeah, essentially, once the season starts in May until about mid to about the third week in June, it just kind of gets better and better as, as the water starts to warm up, the bugs start to hatch, the buffet for fish is in, like, two to ten feet of water basically and that's when they're just absolutely gorging themselves after the spawn they're looking to eat so anything you throw in front of them basically they're going to clobber but the the challenge is once the temperature hits about that i would say 12 to 15 degrees in those shallows they start to move deeper so we have a week left for sure maybe two really depends on kayla's forecast really so actually you're uh, the the anglers of the of the province might not be all that thrilled by the fact that we're getting 28, 29, 31 degree temperatures as it shortens that window of time. That's true. Uh, I, I know I've talked before about finding those current areas from shore. Uh, th that will sustain it a little longer. That'll always bring in a certain amount of shallow fish, but the big bite uh, tends to sort of taper off when you get a little deeper into June, early July, just because of uh, the heat and they, they move a little bit deeper. Yeah, best, part sure. about, uh, best part about doing the shallow fish, Jason, is the fact that uh, if you don't want to, if you don't feel so inclined, you don't have to put the boat in the water. Absolutely, and that's the big thing I wanted to, I brought a, a, an array of uh, visual aids, if you will, today. You know, I brought the uh, great pair of chest waders. These things uh, can be used, obviously, all spring and even into the fall, because the fish come shallow again in the fall. And it gives you a little bit more accessibility into the lake. You know, it can give you as much as a 20-foot difference in your cast, depending on the depth of the water. You mm -hmm. can go essentially right up to your chest, just like Jeff is in the video here. Um, Get an extendable net, uh, which is uh, what is beside you there. Uh, you can actually extend it several feet, and what that allows you to do is, is reach for those fish a little better. Yes. Um, and you don't have to get them quite, quite as close to you. And the cool part about this is it seems to extend from the middle rather than, so, so you're, it's, like, it's almost like exponentially yeah. getting longer and longer. You yeah. almost reach Sabine. Yeah. Almost. Almost. Almost yes. got her. And, uh, and if, if I had the chest waders <laughs> and I could get six yeah. feet closer, there you go. We'd have our big there catch. There you go. See, it works catch. on so many levels. <laughs> and of course, and then we've got, uh, this is kind of new the last few years. This is an inflatable PFD. They're, uh, they're a little pricey compared to your average uh, PFD, but they're very comfortable to wear. And I think that's really why a lot of people don't wear them. Uh, and it's a really good idea if you're having your chest waders and you can wear them both, now uh, you're at least going to have some security in the water there if, if anything were to happen. Yeah, there's almost like a false sense of security sometimes when you're only standing in the shallow water that uh, you don't need something like this, but it's surprising how quickly you can get yourself into trouble. Well, you know, for sure, and, and I mean, depending upon where you step, it could be muddy, it could be slippery, you know, it's always a good idea to, to, to have that anywhere near water, especially if you're taking out your kids, you're always very, you know, conscious to make sure they're wearing it. But you also have to, too, because uh, you have to be there for them if uh, something were to happen, right? Anything coming up at Cabela's for you? Are you and Jeff uh, doing any demonstrations in the near future? We're actually, uh, Jeff is doing a presentation at the uh, Indian Head Library in about a week and a half. So stay tuned to our social media channels for more details on that. We'll be at Cabela's. Uh, it'll be a little bit, it'll be August when we're there again. Uh, but uh, anytime, of course, go to maddiesgetfishing.com for tips about fishing at all times of the year. Fantastic stuff. Always a pleasure to have you in, good sir. All right. Good luck and good fishing. Thank you. Jason Maddity.